my success um, at Rutgers. Not 95. Nova firing into traffic. He's rushing three. Down the middle. Oh. In and out of the hands and intercepted. Wright couldn't hold on to it and is picked up top. Nova. Oh, miscommunication. It's up for Green. It's intercepted. Picked up by Terrell Boyd. In the Citrus Bowl. Uh, Virginia Tech has played very well. You know, this has been the lament of Virginia fan, Virginia Tech fans all season long. Is they keep waiting, their defense is keeping them in games and making plays, and they keep waiting for the offense to do something, and it has not been. Watch his throwing motion. I want you to watch how his shoulders tilt, and the ball is going up in the air. It is not well thrown, and it hangs up in the air. And then he gets beat. Again, the ball, because it's hung, he turns. Oh, I don't know about that one. That one looks like he, he turns to play the ball. So yet another first down that. by way of Virginia Tech penalty for Rutgers. Paul James comes into the backfield for Rutgers to join Huggins on third and ten. Nova with time goes downfield and that is intercepted by Exum and here goes Alex Antonio. Uh, they did some stuff that uh, prevented us from uh, executing. What did you see from them that prevented you from executing? What did they do? Um, just flew around. They have a great scheme and uh, they got some great players. Is there anything? I mean, towards the end of the game, was it tough to? What made it so tough? I guess towards the end of the game, you got decent field position a couple of times, just to move the ball. I said they have a great defense. So I said. And head disappointed are you in your own performance? Um, you know it sucks to end the year this way, but uh, you know I know I got a bright future. Just gotta keep working hard, and uh, it sucks to uh, send these seniors out this way, but um, just gotta keep getting better. Okay, what happened on that interception that was intended for Brandon? Yeah, it's a bad pass. Did you just overthrow him? It was pass. That's it. Was there any point tonight where you lost any confidence at all or a little down yourself? I don't lose confidence. I never lose confidence. But uh, obviously it's a frustrating night. But uh, you just try to keep fighting through it and uh, then we didn't get the outcome we wanted. What does it mean to you that no matter what happens, Coach Flood is standing behind you? He's already said that you know, no open competition, nothing like that. You're the starter in the spring. What does that mean? Uh, I think I've earned it. But uh, to have a coach that, that trusts you like that makes you feel great. And um, you know, I'm not going to let him down again. Is that something that maybe you didn't feel before Coach Flood was here and now that he's here, you feel the support there? Um, I was a true freshman. You know, I wouldn't expect the coach to hand over you know, a program to me. But um, I think going into my junior year, I feel confident in, in the way my career is going and uh, the guys that we've got around me, I think we got a chance to do some things, special things next year. What, did you say anything to any of the seniors? You know, you said it was disappointing to, to send them out like this. What did you have to say to them? I uh, just apologize to them and, uh, and tell them that I love them. And, uh, and like, they're all like big brothers to me. I know I'm going to keep in contact with all of them. But uh, you know, it's, it's, that's the roughest part, coming in here and looking them in the eye and seeing them all teary eyed and stuff like that. But, um, no, we just gotta go back to work. What caused that fumble um, on the snap? Uh, drop snap. That was on me. What, what do you think looking into this offseason needs to change to take the next step as an offense? I um, just gotta keep getting better. Uh, from the offensive line and the receiver, everybody. Just gotta keep getting better. And, um, you know, we have a lot, a lot of time in the spring. and. You know, until our first game, training camp, all that stuff, just got to keep getting better every day. How did you evaluate your development this season? Uh, I think I, I think I did, got a little bit better every game. And, um, you know, obviously turnover stuff like that towards the end of the season, not what I wanted. But, um, you know, I just got to keep getting better, like I said. You had a little bit of a big picture question. You're, you're out for a couple more years. Do you feel like you guys set a foundation, not only for your... You know, we, we talk about, you know, Dodd being a youngster, but... He's played a lot of quarterback. He's thrown that football an awful lot in high school. Threw for over 4,000 yards just as a senior alone. Can you imagine the offense they had at that high school? Because he had Marcus Lattimore, who's a star <laughs> tailback at South Carolina oh. right now. He was the guy he handed it to. <laughs> wow. Third and long. Here he is. Set to throw again. Deep middle. And what a strike on the run down the sideline. Deering's gone. One freshman and down here. 13th play of this drive. A 
receivers and Dodd both all looking to the sideline. Play action. Dodd has time running out of it. And now he's in trouble. Got away again. Got a block. Now he takes off with his feet. Oh my. He's close. Went out of bounds. About two yards shy, but <laughs> they're trusting in him right now. Rutgers went 82 yards in 15 plays the last time they had it, but they left it on the field on a fourth and two. Now they know what they need. Four minutes left. Deep ball, man there. Touchdown. Harrison. One play. They only needed nine seconds. The only thing better than ten second drives are nine second drives. The only thing better than that is a quarterback who knows exactly what he's doing. And that freshman, man, I'll tell you, Chase Dodds was perfect on that play. Well, Dodd, first down. He's going to go deep again. Deering's got it. Chase Dodd throws it complete to Sanu for the first hobbling catch. Are you kidding me? See? Holy cow! Mohamed Sanu with the catch of the night. He is magnificent. Going for Coleman, and it's good! Touchdown! And Holy cow! Touchdown! Dodd drops the throw, steps up in a pocket, lobs it deep, caught first down! Good snap, good spot, kick to throw as they hurry it up out in the flat. It's complete to third. Oh, 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 oh. The goal line. Did he get in? No. Oh. Stop short inside the one. Play fake. Dodge the throw. Steps up. Fires left. Fox Sanu at the 20. And Mohamed Sanu has just tied Brian Leonard for the all-time receptions lead in Rutgers history. Dodd in the gun. Takes the snap. Working over the middle. Dodd hesitates. Dives near the goal line. Takes a shot. Doesn't get in. I think you go for it. Kind of center. Interception of the year. This is Dodd. He'll take a shot downfield. Loops it very high for Brandon Coleman. And the 6-6 receiver collects it. Coleman did not have consecutive trip to a bowl game. Have won for the fifth consecutive time.